This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. And currently, I'm on level 5A, Backwoods Ambush. Bump it dum. All right, let's see what our goals are for this. Defeat the ogres. Use move XY to patrol the forest. Okay. You now have access to the powerful to pow, to the powerful if statements. Check your toolbar in the middle for the programmatic icon. Sla uh, that's a line, 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 I guess, for extra information. If statements are a fundamental tool for programmers, create them by typing. And here's an example. We make a variable if, and then are it anything inside of here. So if whatever this is is true, so if enemy equals something, if it equals an enemy, then it will run this code. Otherwise, it skips it. All right, let's see what we need to do here. Attack the enemy if it exists. So why would we do this? Why if the enemy exists? Well, first our hero is going to move. Got that. Check. Now, we set this variable enemy equal to hero find nearest enemy. However, once we make a variable, and remember, variables are like x and y in math. This represents something else. In math, it would represent x would represent a number. Here, enemy represents whoever our hero sees, right? So hero, find the nearest enemy. Our hero looks around, and whoever he sees, he now gives them the name enemy. However, if he finds no one, enemy then equals no one, or undefined. So if our hero looks around and doesn't see anyone, enemy still exists. We made this variable. It just equals nothing, or undefined which is why we're using this if statement. This says to the computer, if enemy equals something, if the hero found an enemy, if an enemy exists, well, then attack that enemy. Because there's no reason to attack if the hero looks around and finds nothing and then enemy equals nothing. So let's see what we have here. It looks like we're moving to the next point. Uh-huh. Oop. And if enemy attack the enemy if it exists so you can kind of refer to up here it wants us to do the same thing hero dot attack and there we are i'm just going to click on it enemy now also remember variables can be whatever you want right however i don't have to write var again or variable again because i already created this variable up here now I'm just resetting it. I'm redefining it. I'm saying, okay, now enemy equals, hey, hero, look around here, find the nearest enemy. If you see anyone, that's now what enemy equals. I could make this Fred. I would just have to change all of this to Fred and this to Fred as well. I'm going to leave it, though, as enemy for convenience. Okay, so now hero attack if the enemy exists. And let's attack again. If enemy exists. Yep, and that looks similar to that. Let's keep going. I'm going to walk to this next point and hero, yes, hero, if statement to check if the enemy exists. So here we're reassigning our variable. Again, we don't need VAR because we created the original variable up here. So this variable exists. We're just giving it a new thing, right? We're saying, hey, hero, look around, and now that equals enemy. So use an if statement to check if that enemy exists. So at this point, if our hero looks around, or look around and see if there's an enemy. If there's not, this will equal nothing. If there is, it will equal that enemy. So now we need an if statement again to check. And I'm just looking at line 10 because it's going to be the same. Now make sure to have a bracket to close it, to end it, because everything in between here and there is what the computer will run if this is true, if there's an enemy. And remember, double slashes are comments, so those are for us. The computer ignores them. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, we want to do what we did above. Uh, attack. And then these are ogres, so you do want to hit them twice and attack. All right, finally, find the nearest enemy. Ah, so I'm going to just type in find nearest, right? 
And I don't need VAR. I don't need it. I'm going to get rid of it because we already declared, we already made this variable up here. Once you make the variable, it exists. We're just reassigning it as our hero moves to equal whatever enemy he sees that area. So this already exists, but we want him to look around. We want our hero to look around. And if there's an enemy, well, our hero looks around and gives that enemy a new name, enemy, or gives it nothing. Enemy will equal nothing. Now this is where we want to use check if it exists if enemy, right? We're seeing if our hero found someone or if it equals nothing. I'm going to hit enter to close this out. Oh, I didn't make sure to put brackets. It doesn't work if you don't, because that's how the computer knows where the if code starts and ends. Attack. I'm going to hit enter and attack. So remember, the computer runs. If this is true, the computer goes through this code. It knows from the start to the end. Otherwise, it just skips it each time. All right, let's see how this does, I think. You know, this is looking good. I'm going to hit submit. Great, let's keep going. 